Shabbat Shalom. In our tradition, there is something known as a darshan. A darshan is one who makes meaning out of a piece of Torah text or a parsha. They give explanations or they interpret particular verses, particular chapters, or particular ideas. One of the um, challenges of the darshan is to be able to make connections between different ideas that are found in the text or different sections of a text. So what I would like to do is take a little bit of liberty here and talk about this week's Parsha and try to understand something that it might be saying to us. For this week's Parsha, this week's Torah reading is Parsha Yitro, which is in the middle of the book of Shmo, in the middle of the book of Exodus. And it contains what may be considered the most um, fundamental and basic building block of law for all of Western civilization. And that is the Ten Commandments are found in Yitro. Yitro, or Jethro, is uh, Moses' father-in-law. He's the priest of the Midianites, and he gives Moses really good advice. And I was trying to figure out a connection between Yitro and the advice that he gives Moses and the Ten Commandments. What's the advice Yitro gives Moses? Well, he sees what Moses is doing, and he says to Moses, you simply are wearing yourself out. It's the first piece of advice against what we refer to as burnout. Everybody was coming to Moses with their problems. Everybody wanted Moses to adjudicate their issues. And Moses was becoming overwhelmed by the sheer numbers of people. Yitro says to Moses, you've got to find people to help you out. You have to appoint elders from the community and let them deal with some of these problems also. No one person can do it all. Hold on to that thought. Little, a little bit later on, Moses is at Mount Sinai, and the people are at Mount Sinai, and they receive uh, the Ten Commandments. The very first of the Ten Commandments says, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. The very first thing that God wants us to know about himself, the very first aspect of God's being, is that he is the liberator. He saved us from slavery. God could have identified himself as the creator of heaven and earth. God could have identified himself as the one who gives the law, the one who brought miracles, but instead he wants to say, I'm the one who freed you. It makes me think that if not the ultimate, then certainly the penultimate value in Judaism is the value of freedom. So God wants us to know that he wanted us to be free, and I believe that God wants people to be free. So what's the connection with Jethro? This is what I was thinking about. I think that Jethro wants Moses to know that he can't do it all himself. That is, he cannot have ultimate power. God wanted the people of Israel and the world to know that Pharaoh could not have ultimate power. There are a few major ideas that are found throughout the Torah. One idea has to do with how we are the people who are the others, and therefore how we treat others, how we treat strangers how we are with those who are enfranchised, with those who are different. Another idea in the Torah is the ultimate value of life itself and what we need to do to preserve life. But another idea, and maybe the most important idea, is that God created us to be free. And as a function of that, he's saying that there has to be limitation on human power. Nobody can do it all. Nobody should be able to do it all. The all-powerful one is God himself. And so it brings to us both a sense of humility and a, realis and a warning, and a warning about how human power is used, how we, any one of us, can be abusive of power, and how important it is both to share power, how important it is to be able to create the systems that allow all people to have a voice, all people to have a voice, and how important it is to realize that it is only God who has ultimate power. I'll see you in Shul. Shabbat Shalom.